from 2 a.m. calls, uh, zero communication, yeah, we spent too long in heaven, yeah, we felt the elevation, just times different and we're not the same, cause anything's have to change, I got no trouble with my pride, got trouble cutting tight. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie. If you are new, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and follow your girl on all social media. So today we are back with a, another wine review. But first I would like to give a huge shout out to my boy Lowe's Thrill Life. I'll link his information in the bio and I'll also put it up on the screen from my last video he actually went out and he got himself some wine so shout out to him and I hope everyone else is going out and stacking back up on wine I'm gonna be trying my best to do like a Wednesday like every Wednesday do like a wine down Wednesday where I review a wine or at least every other Wednesday we'll see what happens with my work schedule so no promises but I hope so I really really hope so so let's get into this one. So tonight I will be reviewing this Azteca, Azteca. It's from Argentina and I've made friends in this new wine store close to my job and he's been recommending me some of the best wine that they have that's below $10. So I think I paid $8.99 for this one. Don't quote me on it, I'll put the price on the screen. But as we all know, depending on the neighborhood you're in, the state you're in, Depends on a lot would be how much you're actually going to pay for each bottle of wine. So this is a Malbec and I got into Malbecs kind of late. Like I was always, you know, the Merlot cab type of girl. But I want to say it was like my 23rd birthday that my boyfriend took me to a wine bar with like some of my friends. And one of my friends was like, no, you have to try like this specific Malbec because she's had it before. And honestly i've just been hooked ever since so this one right here is 12.5 percent i've said in other videos and just naturally on my vlogs which if you guys haven't watched my vlogs i will link my playlist at the top but i try my best to always do 12 12.5 percent and above because if we're gonna drink we're drinking for a reason so let's see what 12.5 from argentina can do for us tonight and then this one small little tidbit it's not really interesting but it's kind of interesting so this is a screw top you know like how wine usually has like that cork top and you have to like actually open it up this is a screw top and i don't know if it's a myth or not but i hear some people saying like screw tops are like the cheap wine like it doesn't taste good like it's not authentic like i've never heard good reviews about screw top wines but i like them plus it's convenient like I don't always have a wine opener on me. I actually ordered from Amazon these keychain wine openers because I like wine a lot and sometimes the stores I go into don't have screw top bottles or they don't have them of anything that I like to drink. So yeah, comment down below if you guys think that there's a difference in the taste between screw top bottles and cork bottles. I'm serving this room temperature because I just didn't have time to put it in the fridge. So we're gonna start off by opening up the wine, oxygenating it. It actually smells pretty sweet and I'm not a sweet liker, but actually let me correct myself. It doesn't smell sweet, it smells fruity. So I'm getting hints like of dark, dark fruit, like Cherry is in here, plum is in here. It's giving oaky vanilla. It's giving all the things that I like in a wine already. So let's go. Oh yeah, yeah. And this is tannic. This is very tannic. I love it. I love this bottle. Okay, shout out to my man George in the wine store. Like, I might have to go buy him a bottle of wine specifically. Like, this is a me glass. The last one, like, I wouldn't have never bought it again. Like, Dark Horse, it's an okay brand. I'll link the video at the top so that you guys can see my review on that one. But I don't think I would ever just go and say, oh, I want Dark Horse. This, on the other hand, 
it's kind of spicy at the end of it like there's a little kick at the end of it and like the notes are so strong and if this is like warm slash room temperature right now I can only imagine if I get it to like that correct temperature how amazing this would taste like this is really really good and as I said this was like an $8 bottle and I am always here for a really good bottle that's below $10 like I'll splurge every now and again I'll never go above 20 ever again in my life because I've done it and it's been horrible but that's a story time like that's a wine story time like one of my little wine down days I might give you all like the trash story of a $30 bottle of wine but this is this is doing what it needs to do. I like this. Okay, I'm going to go on my favorite app, the Vivino. The last time I screen shared with you guys how to use the Vivino app. This time I'm not going to, I'm just gonna read it out. As I said, if you guys wanna watch that video, it was linked in the cards and I can also link it down in the description box. But I'm going to read out for you guys what they say about this wine on the vino so let's take our picture so that i can let y'all know okay so on here they're saying the average price is 6.99 so i was robbed the whole dollar this is why i tell y'all it really depends on where you're buying your wine like where i got this wine was in manhattan new york if you know anything about new york we're overpriced for no reason well not for no reason we're overpriced for basic things like wine but I mean $8 is still a really good price by New York standards and anybody's standards for wine so this says plum blackberry cherry strawberry red fruit minerals smoke oak vanilla dark chocolate pepper licorice told you I told y'all there was like a spicy taste behind it I know what I'm talking about. I, I be knowing what I'm talking about. See? Okay. And then rhubarb. Have y'all ever had a rhubarb? Like, I know how it looks, cause like back in the day I used to work at Whole Foods, so I know what a rhubarb is. But I've never tasted that day in my life. Like comment down below if y'all know what a rhubarb is, or how am I even pronouncing it right? Rhubarb? Rhubarb? But have y'all ever had that? Cause I've never had it, and I don't think I ever wanna have it. It just it's a weird name and it looks weird somebody in the <laughs> so somebody in the comments actually said we bought for $13 for this bottle not realizing it was an $8 average imagine I'm here saying that I was scammed a dollar because they're saying that the site itself like Vivino itself is saying that the typical price is $6.70 I paid $8 for mine I think $8.99 if it wasn't $7.99 it was $8.99 but this person paid thirteen dollars. Let me shut up, see? Feel bad for them. I feel real, real bad for them. But yeah, I really, really like this. Like the taste characteristics are that it's bold. I'll take a screenshot and I'll put it on the screen of like the taste characteristics based on all of like the average reviews. It's close to the bold. It's smoother more than tannic I personally feel like it's giving me more tannic that could be because it's under temperature but for me it gives me more of like the tannic kick um, it's mid dry sweet it's in the middle of soft and acidic but it's just it's giving me what I need in a wine like this I can see this as like a charcuterie board me getting this and I just want to enjoy a night by myself like this is really run yourself a bath lay out some cheese pour the wine put on a candle like some shoddy in the background I'm basically telling y'all everything I'm about to do as soon as I turn this camera off honestly like <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do I have my Bath and Body Works candles that you guys saw like months ago I still have like six of them left from my two shopping sprees at Bath and Body Works so I'm about to light one of those and it's about to be lit because this the, when I go and take a bath I'm gonna put this in the fridge now when I come out of the bath and I'm editing this video I'm gonna drink it cool and I'm gonna put a voiceover and let y'all know how it tastes when it's chilled 
because this is amazing. But guys, that is it for this video. There's not much more else to say than I absolutely love this wine. Get you a bottle of this. I recommended it. I need I need to have like two of these bottles, like just chilling in my house just in case. Because I don't really have any space for it, if I'm being honest. Like I'm gonna become a hoarder if I get two bottles of this. But um yeah, I need some more of this in my life. It was really good. But if you guys are new to this channel, just to let you know, we never leave anything in our glass, whether you have water, tea, wine. If you don't have anything, go pour yourself something. Like, even if it's just a shot, because we're about to chug. Who's next? I always underestimate the width of this glass because it looks like it's not that much left when it's like right here but this is the widest part of the glass so instead of taking just three gulps like I think it's gonna be it ends up being like seven but I digress because I'm gonna pour some more right now be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one